even if I don't have another idea of kind of um, uh, underlining it, the lines alone work. And let me just be authentic. Let me be real. Let me be in the uh, in present, you know, when I'm doing it. And, you know, we uh, we made something that's, uh, I-, I believe, worth uh, worth watching. First of all, congratulations. The movie is hilarious. I oh, loved you. watching it in a theater. Um, it was the best kind of loud in a theater that I've maybe ever experienced. So much hooting and hollering, and it was just it was it was it was glorious. I, so love, I love hearing that. Oh. You watch it in a big crowd? Uh, no, it was oh. a pretty small it room, and there weren't even better. There were six of us, and we like, were screaming. Right. Wow, that's so great. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so okay, so so at first this was a short film. Uh, tell me, uh, you know, at, at what point did it get picked up to be a feature? And then at what point did each of you get involved? I saw the short and I was like, I don't know how it's going to be a movie, but this tone, these characters, I just want to figure out how to flesh it out into a movie. That was about four years ago, honestly. So um, I would say it took about maybe a, a year um, but not a continuous year, <laughs> but we, cause we were, you know, working on other things at the time and trying to like balance it. But yeah, it, it took a second to kind of figure out how to turn it from that short. Cause the short was just a scene really. It didn't, you didn't know how they got there. You didn't know how they all knew each other. We didn't have a villain. There was a lot that needed to be worked out, but I just love the the characters and the tone and just Dwayne's voice. I think he's just so special and unique. So it had to be fleshed out into a movie first. And then luckily, I think after maybe two drafts, um, this wonderful person, Tim Story, decided to bless us by agreeing to direct it. And honestly, at that point, that's when everybody started taking it seriously as a movie. And it was not taken seriously until Tim signed on. Seriously. You you made it a movie. What? Well, thank you, Tracy. Yeah. And it's going to make a lot of money in the box office. I just wanted to point that out as well. I, I, I bet it will. <laughs> um, and it's, you know, I, I, it's it's interesting. When I was watching the, the ads and stuff, I was like, is it comedy horror, horror comedy? Where where on the spectrum is it? And the answer is, is yes. But also, I was so impressed at how long it had been since I had seen such a like a dialogue driven comedy where there's just so like there's you know sight gags galore but it's so ma- there's so many just perfect uh like just jokes <laughs> well, you, you saw what I saw in reading this script it was the funniest thing I had read in like in a decade it was just mm. it was really just perfect and that's and the experience you got through you know through work, watching the movie that's the experience I got through reading the script I just you saw the movie. I finished the script in like one sitting. Like I'm, I, I promise you, I, I finished it in an hour and a half. And you just kind of uh, loved what you saw, and you you wanted to see it come to screen. It's almost like writers have an integral role in Hollywood. Yeah, it's, it's you like, wouldn't know that. It's like but... writing. It started with writing. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's who knew? Who kn- right? You know? Yeah. <laughs> not, not to get political or anything. <laughs> no, no, we're just stating facts. Mm-hmm. Just stating facts. Well, well, tell me about you know because you have like a cast of big personalities and comedy professionals, comedy writers, but um, you know, but this script is so loaded. Tell me about the process of. Is it just as simple as shooting the script, or is it like not diluted but like filtered through these actors and their takes? Tell me how it goes from the script. To the screen. Well, obviously, two minutes or less. Yeah, well, (laughs) obviously, after finding a cast that you just think works in terms of the characters, when it came down to what what was great about having such a um, kind of a perfect blueprint is that everybody respected the script, and so then it was just about how can I make this line funnier? How can I make um, the situation resonate from what I'm saying? And and as you say, it's such a it's such a dialogue heavy script, but it's that conversation and it's the um, information that you're getting from it. And, and that's what, ma- and it kind of made my job easier because I can take what's already there on the page and just figure out how do I put a spotlight on it? And mm-hmm. I think all the actors said the same thing. I just have to make, I just have to be what this is and how do I make it stronger? And if, and the great thing about it is even if I don't have another idea of kind of um, uh, underlining it, the lines alone work and let me just be authentic. Let me be real. Let me be in the, uh, in present, you know, when I'm doing it and, 
you know, we uh, we made something that's uh, I, I believe worth uh, worth watching. Thank you so much. The movie is fantastic. I yeah. uh, can't wait to go see it again with an even bigger crowd. Yeah, uh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Mm-hmm.